Hello, welcome back to more Mountain Blade Bannerlord. Picking up just where we left off yesterday, I want to go play with this caravan. They actually have six horse archers, which I think we might be able to run down with our mounted troops. And then the rest of them are actual archers. So I'm going to try as best I can with my slow ass self to chase these dudes down and get them cornered. Sometimes they flip around, by the way, and they come, come right back towards you. So I feel like keeping them at a really high speed is beneficial. Hello, are you going to get about trapped right now? I think so. Uh, if I come on the inside, you should go that way. There we go. This will be an interesting experiment. We have not tried a caravan yet. Mostly because I'm a big, big baby. But I'm hoping if I was able to make a shield wall, we're going to be able to kind of hide behind our friends and, uh, you know, basically get protected against the archers. There we go. Okay, 48 versus 49. The strength is a little bit on their side. Hand over your goods or die. This will be a big fight for us. Either we win and get a lot of money or we probably get a pretty freaking nasty wipe. So I've got to be careful to not get dehorsed. They have a respectable cavalry, I think. What did it say overall? I think it was like only a... No, I think we looked at that. The caravan... Um, Horse archers were only a few of them. So, oof. Let's do a shield wall. Form a shield! Or follow me! My guy's on me. We're going to have to play a little bit with their horse archers. Bowman! Let's get our bowmen on the Move. back. And Double let's ring. get our cavalry going here. Charge. Nice swing and a miss. Beautiful. And the rest of the army is just hanging out, so I guess they're waiting for us to do the skirmishing and finish this little skirmish here to see how everyone does. Yeah, we'll just do a little bit. You know what? You can shoot from horseback. Guess what, friend? So can we. I'm all about these guys getting stopped. I hate horse archers. I hate all horse archers in pretty much all games. Like in Prophecy of Pandora, I never played... What was it? The, um... I call them the Dothraki. The, uh... I completely forgot their name now. It would be the Cousinate or something like that, right? That's the ones in this game, in this uh, in Mountain Blade traditionally. Oh god, I shot my own friend right in the back. Nice job, sport. Look okay, that with another friendly fire. Come on. All we gotta do is get a couple more of these guys and the rest of the army should start moving. I'm keeping an eye on that other army. Or not army, but their other forces. Oh, hi. Shit, you're coming to visit. Eventually these guys will run out of bows and arrows, or, or arrows rather. Let's bring it back Double down, cavalry. We did lose a guy. Let's see if we can help him out, actually. Charge! Don't really want to chase them up into the mountainside, because we're going to lose some of our speed. Horse took a little bit of a shot there. Probably getting horse archery would not be a bad thing at some point. Nice shot. Okay, they're retreating. Are they all retreating? Come Follow me! That's so cool. I think, like, they're literally... Yeah, their skirmish is over with. What, what, are we, uh, what are we looking at here? Are they all coming back? Yeah, they're actually all retreating. Now, are they going to hold position while we advance? Because that's going to kind of suck. This is the first battle where I've been able to use tactics, which is pretty fun. I think we won that little skirmish, though. Everyone Everybody, on my follow me. We're going to attempt to approach from the hillside if we can. I don't know what the range of our archers Soldier, is. Move, move. I like how quickly you can give orders. I mean, like, one, two, three, click, and then boom. I was giving everybody an order to move, which is pretty great. Great, we've actually got a couple hills here. That is a massive archer line, though. However, I've not been all that mega Wood impressed. Man. With forward. archers yet in this game. Forward. 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 I'm gonna go get a, a little bit of a scout here. They're not in the best position. What's their range? Yeah, they're not even drawing yet. Now, I don't know if I should be advancing my troops manually. Or if I should, like, tell them to charge or basically just kind of keep doing the shift F2, F1 kind of a thing to advance. This will be interesting. Cavalry! Move! Oh, I like how far... Oh my god, you can send your troops way move! out here. This is actually really cool. I kind of want to maybe do a bit of a flank with my... God, the, the, their, their horsemen are going to be a problem. 
I wonder if I can maybe provoke them. Archers! What if I bring my archers Fire! here? Infantry here as well. Back in OG Mountain Blade, if you killed somebody, you used to be able to kind of provoke them into attacking. I'm not sure if that behavior still applies. I might tell. I can't tell if I'm too high or too, I think I'm too low. I'm like airballing these things in here. Holy crap! <laughs> I love that. I love that we're getting shots at like a thousand miles away. It's so satisfying bombarding these guys. All right, that is the end of my fun experience. Can I get my archers out here? Maybe we outrange them with crossbows. Not quite. Guys, can we put infantry here in front, maybe. Move cavalry up a little bit. Okay, they are attacking us. Let's pull back down. Come on back down. I wanted to be behind the hill. Infantry in front. Archers in back. I am off my horse, but that's all right. Here comes the guys. Damn it. I was hoping we'd get at least a couple here. They tore through us pretty hard. Archers get really close here. I'm sending my cavalry guys in. Oh, shit. Are these horse archers again? Oh, they did keep their horse archers. That's right. They pulled them back. Oh, not looking good for our guys. Where's their archers at? God, cavalry is so strong right now. Let's see if we can shred some archer heads here. Come here, you bastard. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, we're obviously killing archers here. That's fine. The problem is the horsemen. Of course, I died like an idiot. All right, what are we at here? Oh, we're out of troops. Son of a gun, man. It's those horse guys that are super, super lethal. I'm going to go ahead and hit tab to see if we can pull out of here. I don't know if we're even going to be able to retreat without getting captured or not. I did mention it's going to be either an all-in or we either win or we lose. Yeah. Wow, man. Horsemen. Incredibly strong. That kind of sucked. Hey, silver lining in everything. We are going to have reduced party wages for a bit, which is nice. <laughs> God, there's is there any way to stand up to a horse charge or is just horses stupid brokenness right now? We had shield wall. I don't think there's an option to do any kind of a brace or to, to kind of like prepare for a horse charge. That is crazy. So do we just need to stock up on cavalry and that's pretty much it? We do have... Our own troops can go to cavalry, by the way. That, that is where I wanted to be at. I believe it's under... Or can they? Hang on. We can get horse archers. Maybe we should be making all of our archers horse archers instead of normal archers. Because I don't think our archers did anything, to be honest with you. Can I look at the... Um, I probably can't find any historical battles, but I should have paid more attention to the end screen to see who killed whom. Yeah, that's a that's a bit of a bummer. Did not do too hot there. Did we get a promotion? Or was that uh Gudra? No, not quite. Why does she have red? Maybe because of the oh she's capped? Fair enough. Why do we have a thing here? We have a little or we had a little thing here. Alright, so that was great. Not so much. We did, you know, cut back on our troops expenditures a bit. Lessons learned. Everything about this is lessons learned, though. Cavalry? Hurt. And I don't know, do we need to get spearmen? Will spearmen even do anything in, in, at all? I am at a loss, my friends. Maybe we'll, now that we're a little bit faster, why don't we just wait for you to he heal up for a bit? And I might go back to doing some of the looter runs. And maybe we'll try to lean into getting some horse archers... And horse archers, we'd be faster anyways, right? However, will we need horses in the party to train them up into what I'm thinking? I don't know. Trained archer. Upgrade to Imperial Veteran Archer. These are the horsemen that I was hoping for. Requires XP. Doesn't say anything about requiring a horse, but it still might. Odin gained a level, and this is the level that we get a attribute point into, I think, for a bit. Uh, what are we trying to level up here? Leadership, 
would be kind of cool. It's still taking quite a long, a long time. I mean, do we get anything for doing the base skill, by the way? Makes it easier to learn bound skills and then lear, lear, uh, raises the learning limit. I think riding, athletics, and smithing are all things I would I would kind of like to get leveled up. So let's go ahead and put an attribute point in that. And we do have another free one here, which I think I'll go ahead and do. We haven't done anything with athletics, have we? Plus one, close quarters training, endurance. Ooh, hit points would be kind of nice. More kick damage, right to the nuts. I'll kind of save it for a bit and figure out what we want to put that skill into in uh, a little bit later. Let's make ourselves feel better with a little bit of bandit hunting. I think what we might do for a minute to recover from my uh, a wee bit of a failure there is we've got a pretty small group. Infantry! Let's go Four! do some bandit hunting because that is not bad money, especially if we're taking pretty much every single little bit of loot there is. Also doing the smithing thing at the same time. Um, when these guys get higher up, the trained infantrymen or the veteran guys, there is a route where they can take spears. I'm going to give it a shot and see if spears are the way to go for them. And any of our, or not all of our new recruits, but some of our new recruits, I'm actually going to put them into the, uh, sorry, let's do shield wall. I'm going to put them into that class that gives them a spear. Because I kind of want to see if the spear is going to help us out at all. While we're recovering from our pain of losing our troops, I just picked up deliver a quest. Deliver a quest. Deliver some. Uh, oh shit! We have to deliver these to Tial. Did I get that right? Deliver some sheeples. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Why would it a city unless we're at peace now? Oh, we are at peace now. Cool. Okay, we're, we've got five days to go all this way. It sounds like an adventure. We're fine. We've got food. We've got barely any troops. I think we'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, this quest has two days remaining. It was a five-day quest. I don't think I could have gotten there in time. I actually stopped, bought some horses because I realized how slow I was. I think we've got one more day to get to Tial. I don't think we can do it in one day. There's also a lot of, um, a lot of horse in the way. Oh, we're so close. Let me take a look at this quest again. We have one day left. This quest will be failed. We will have a bunch of sheep. Oh no. We're so close to Tial. Don't you fail on me now. Eh, we made it. Holy crap. Uh, who do we have to give the sheeples to? We have to deliver this to Crass the Silversmith. Lovely. Crass the Silversmith. Hey friend. How you doing? You want some sheeples? Why, yes, we are that famed party that completely got wiped out by a caravan. Why do you ask? There we go. 20 head of sheep. Increase our relationship. Got 461 dinar. Blew out your eardrums with that successful quest sound. You know, it's interesting. I did complete the Rebuild Your Clan mission, by the way. I've not seen anything else. So I wonder if the next step of the quest comes after Naretz's Folly. I would, I would assume that's what we're doing next. Marina the Window has a Fencing Stolen Goods quest, which we don't want to do. Tavern District has Sower Guard. Frostbeard, what a great freaking name. Athletics, Scouting, nothing of interest to us. He has some really good, like, personable skills. Is there anything in here that we can look at? No, just uh, good old Frostbeard. The taverns look so much better. I can't get over, like, just how... I mean, there's small improvements... When you're chatting with someone in town and you're asking them about a quest or something and the way they just kind of react to your character and look at you and stuff like that, it's just, it's much more realistic. And uh, it's actually really, really cool. You know, there are some mega cheap furs here in the Great North. I think we're going to grab these because uh, both Dynastica and Cyronea have a pretty good trade on those. Also, Hides as well. Same thing, Cyronea and Dynastica. I mean, it's only like a 10 profit though. 
So maybe I don't want to take, take the chance on those. Linen. Danustica as well. Look, I'll take as much as you guys can give me. Do we have enough money to get there? Probably. I think that's about five days worth of salary at the moment. Back home we go. Lovely. Massive profit on fur. Pretty good. And linen, I don't quite remember what we bought it for. Maybe 34, was that it? So I guess this will be fine. Uh, 2142, that definitely puts us over 2000, which is like where I think we were. And I'm going to spend a couple days here doing a bit of smithing while this guy outside looks scurry. I think that's like Tynal or I don't know who he is. There's also a massive bandit party of like 50 rolling around here. Too bad we uh, <clears throat> don't quite have anyone to help. Yeah, we'll keep grabbing more recruits. I'm not going to go super deep into that because I do want to try to go down this route of making the um, the horse archers. But I do still want to try getting the trained infantrymen up to Menavliatan. Menavliatan? I'm telling you guys, I will learn to pronounce this stuff one day. Let's put the archers up top, by the way, so they get... I'm assuming experience still trickles down like it used to. So we'll try to do that. You require a horse to get upgraded. I'm actually going to drop you guys off. I don't want to give you my horses because that's keeping us faster. I really feel like once we get to the trained archers, they're going to need a horse too. But maybe not. Maybe the basic guys don't. But these unique troops do. Because they have their own separate tree. Rem remember. But they're also insanely strong once uh, at the end of the road. Boom. Massive profits. 1335 after smelting a bunch of stuff down. I really do think that's a great start, by the way. Get your... I, I kind of want to do a new character. At some point I will, just, just kind of for fun. Make a brand new character. Figure out which of these different groups has some of the better horse trained, either archers or just horsemen in general. Actually, can we take a look and see... Uh, off the bat, are there actual... If I go to the troop trees, say for... Vlandia. I want to just get the full troop tree. Okay. Can I make... Yes. Okay, so Vlandia does have cavalry you can make from a normal infantry line. So you could go down the route of Vlandian, grab yourself some light cavalry, run down every single bandit in the history of banditum, and then sell their stuff, smelt everything down. I kind of... I really want to do that. Just a, a complete smithy-focused character for no reason other than, like, they're literally born to smelt things and kill bandits. That's their entire reason for being... You know, somewhere, there has to be a town that's doing iron. And I know I've seen it. I don't quite remember where that town was. But I'm assuming the town would be... That's Silver Ore. I would assume the town is going to be kind of set in the mountainside. But I was wondering, why don't we find a town that is producing iron ore? Go there to try to grab as much iron ore as possible. There's also a town doing hardwood right over here. So I'm going to grab a bunch of hardwood from Odrissa. Odrissa? Can we search? Can we search settlements? Ooh, type. Oh man, that would actually be cool if you could search it by like iron or or you know what by what material they uh, they make. I'm sure I've seen it somewhere. I'll just have to keep looking around until I find the iron ore city. But yeah, let's keep going around until we find like right here. This is mega super cheap hardwood, so I can buy a ton of hardwood. Your capacity exceeded. It's actually pretty flippin' heavy. We'll get like 30 or so. Remind me to pick up more mules. I feel like I've lost my mules at some point in uh, probably in my endeavors of dying and, and whatnot. Hey, there's also another town that does furs. Let's visit Espanter or Espanter. <laughs> we'll try to get a little bit of fur profit. Also want to keep my character in view. I've learned my lesson. Hey, there's a right there, a Kaiser is iron ore. Cool. So we're going to stop off at Ispanter. Or Ispanter. Pick up some furs if they're cheap. They're not really cheap, but that's at least another town. So furs seem to be a pretty good deal. I'm just curious if this is going to work out. Let's see if a Kaiser is selling their stuff for the cheapsy doodles or if it's super mega expensive. Man, step bandits are really freaking quick. I don't want to be anywhere near this. Buy products. Let's go. Iron ore cheap. Uh, that seems expensive. Can sell at Cyronea for 95. So it's still... God, it's expensive, but it's like not as expensive as it could be. But the iron we can get from it... 
it's worth more, right? Isn't that how that works? By the way, I think when I looked at my skill back when we were messing around with smelting, I misread something. And smithing this part here, producing crude iron more efficiently by obtaining three units of crude from one unit of iron ore. I mixed, I kind of mixed up the smithing path. And I thought it was the end part where you're getting a return on crude iron from making uh, normal iron, but it's not. You're actually, it's, what, it's how much you get from raw iron. But I, I kind of think this is not too bad. Let's give it a test. Let's buy enough to make us heavy right about there. Uh, I don't know. Let's get a little bit more. We can go a little bit. Well, hang on. I don't want to go too crazy because we're not going to be able to afford our freaking troops. So 1340. Let's go over to Akalat. See how much iron is worth once we do it. Hey, uh, Harunag, you right there. Halt. Cease. Desist. I have questions for you, my friend. Let's go to the front of the city and wait for him. Or can I, can I talk with him in the castle? Nope. I don't want to bribe anybody. Let's uh, go outside and wait. Okay, not a great idea because someone's coming to fight. <laughs> so we're going to hide in the smithy. All right. I've got a ton of hardwood. I'm going to refine into charcoal. You must rest and spend time. What is it about... How am I... Oh, smithy stamina. Right there. I didn't catch that part. Okay. We're going to rest for a wee bit. Even though I've not really been doing any smithing for a minute. We shall wait patiently. Oh, can I talk? Hang on. Crap. I, I meant to do it up here. Can I chat with these guys from... Oh, I kind of can, I think. You need me in the same location. You can chat with them through this mar this menu right here. I believe. Now, you're probably too fast for me to catch up. We're at 5-2. You're at 5-2. Are you going to turn around at all? I really want to get... Whenever I see these quests right here, I want to try to get them as much as possible. There we go. Hey, friend. How you doing? Tell me all about this damn battle or whatever. I've kind of stopped looking at the lore at this point. I really just want this this quest to go away. All right, back to Akalat we go. Okay, so we made some iron. Um, the iron right now is selling for 227 in Cyrenea, so we're going to go back towards our home. I, I really think this is a profitable route to go. Either you get... I really, at the end of the day, we actually got a lot of crude iron from the raw iron. So... Whichever route you go, whether you're getting more efficient charcoal making or you're getting more efficient iron, I think it, they're, they're both very good. This is probably a very profitable path for us. I really feel like you almost have an option of being a non-combat character. I mean, it's not what you really would wind, to, you know, wind up doing in Mountain Blade, but it's cool that it's an option to really be a... Instead of just a buy low, sell high, the smithing system does give you an option in terms of almost like starting your own mini business at the start of the game, which is really, really fun. All right, we are going to take a break from smithing. I still have a ton of crude iron. We still have a bunch of iron ore still to smelt down, so I'm going to keep an eye out for hardwood towns. But for the moment, we're going to go back to a little bit of bandito hunting. Got a couple more of these spearmen-type troops. Curious to see how they're going to be in the end. Let's grab this group of 15. This is a pretty nice little party. Bandits party of 15. Your table's now available. Surrender or die, I will do the traditional send in the troops because at this point I'm all about that speed and immediately getting all the loot. In fact, they never ever die. It's so weird. I, I, is it only when you... Man, these are a lot of... What did we... Did someone mention something about the Empire Peasant thing? Who are these guys? Also, why can't I hire any? Oh, because I was using the wrong button. What, um... They turn into watchmen. Mercenaries. So they basically turn into mercenaries. They are five gold a day to be mercenary horsemen. Do we want to try these guys out just for fun? Five gold a day is about the same price as we are paying for kind of a trained trooper. Not even that, actually, the, the higher level ones. And we are trying to go for more of a mobile force here. I don't know. Why are there so many of them? Did they all get captured? Sure. You know what? For funsies. Let's try it out. Oh, it's a lot of troops. That's okay. We are we are making money now. And I think we're still quick enough to get a lot of these guys. And uh, hey, we got a horse too. And catch up with them. So we'll keep experimenting with this stuff. 
All right, as we go towards the last band of looters, I want to say thank you guys so much for joining me for this episode of Banner Lord. I think I'll put a cut in right after, if I can ever catch up to these bastards. We're like one thing too sh too slow, I think. Well, we have some wounded troops. So I think as we get healed, don't we uh, pick up speed a little bit? Maybe not. I'll chase them to the ends of the earth. Thanks so much for... Hey, what was this? Well, now I see it. Sturgeons declare war on the Southern Empire. For some reason before, I don't think I noticed the pop-up. Well, cool. Good to know. The uh, strength is rather even. Luckily, we just got out of Sturgeon lands for a bit. Where are they at? Everything's so cold and wintry. I don't think I'm going to get part of the wars for a minute. I'm still trying to recover from screwing up and losing so many troops this episode. So, hey, thanks for being patient with me as I, you know, get all of our friends killed. But I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, my friends, be well.